if you look at it from a blob store perspective, I can think about using Windows DFS to, rep to create replicas of my blob stores for both disaster recoverability and failover, right? So I, I have a DFS namespace. I map that to multiple um, nodes or you know, multiple blob stores. It handles replication across those different nodes. If, if the primary node goes down, it automatically switches over to you know, one of the backups. So from an end user um, perspective, it's transparent. There might be a little bit of a hiccup while it makes that switch, while it determines that the primary is down, but once it makes that switch, you're working off the primary. You're working off a backup until the primary comes over. But there's no heavy lifting. That there's no switch that has to be flipped. There's no hey, we need to replicate, move, switch everything over to a backup site and in another data center halfway across the country. None of that has to happen. Um, and why would you want to be forced to recover your blob stores if the only thing that failed was your database? Right. You know, you get a corrupt database. The server goes down. You lose the the storage underneath that becomes corrupt or whatever, why would I want to have to be forced to recover all of the blobs and all of the content if really I'm only talking about the metadata and list item information? I mean, it changes the, the disaster recovery time frame dramatically. 